guys, Marissa here from Apartment 402, and today I am bringing you the Apartment 402 Beauty Awards. Um, so this is the 2013 Beauty Awards, and this is for the makeup category. So I'm kind of excited about this. As I was planning it out, I was like, hmm, how am I going to do my favorite beauty products of the year? And what better way than to throw myself, throw you guys a beauty Oscars. So this is the beauty Oscars and today I'm going to be talking about all my favorite makeup stuff for the year. I have a lot of stuff to go through so I'm just going to let you know these are my all-time favorite items of the year. So let's get started because there's a lot to go through. Okay so the first thing is primer and in the primer category I think it's kind of a no-brainer. It's the Benefit Professional. I discovered this like late this summer and I absolutely love it. It's the best primer that there is. It totally minimizes all my pores and it's just the best way to prime your face before you put on your foundation or BB cream. So I love this stuff and I will always, always repurchase it. It's definitely a holy grail item for me. Actually, a lot of this stuff is going to be holy grail items. Um, so if you ever want to know what my favorite, favorite stuff is, this is the video to watch. Okay, so the next thing in the foundation BB cream category it's definitely my Misha US BB Cream. I have it in two different shades. Um, I wore this all spring and all summer, and I like BB Cream better than foundation, even though I wear foundation in the winter and fall. Um, this BB Cream has is full coverage. It goes on like a moisturizer. It is. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look like you have anything on, and I just absolutely love this. I will stand by this stuff 100%. I love Misha BB Cream, and it's a Korean skincare line. You can get it at MishaUS.com. I can link it down below for you guys, but if you haven't already tried this, this is the best BB Cream I think that there is out there right now, so BB Cream Award, yay! Of course, of course, this is one of my videos. It's something to go flying across the freaking room. Um, anyway, that's the BB Cream winner. Next thing is powder. So for, actually no, next thing is <laughs> concealer. And this should come as no surprise. This is my NYX HD concealer. I discovered this just about two months ago and I'm obsessed with it. I'm already out of it. This is, I got this less than two months ago. I think I got this in the beginning of November and it's not even January yet. I'm obsessed with this. This is just the best, most illuminating, brightening concealer and it's only $4 and it's awesome. So I absolutely love this stuff. 100% stand by it as my favorite concealer ever. Next is powder and it's also a NYX product. This is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder and it's basically a silica powder. It's translucent so it's all white and it just sets my makeup perfectly and gives me the most like flawless like perfect skin finish like my skin feels so even when I use it and this stuff is just the best it's ten dollars you can get it at Ulta obsessed I like it better than all my MAC powders and any other expensive powders is my favorite so I love that next is bronzer and for bronzer this should come as no surprise to anybody it's my NARS bronzer in the shade casino this is gonna be embarrassing um, it's completely empty. <laughs> this should go on my empties video, but that's the color. It's a really, really dark bronzer. It's amazing for contouring. It matches my skin perfectly in the summer. I always, always, always will repurchase this as my favorite bronzer. I have other bronzers I'm using right now, but this is my holy grail. This is the favorite. This is the 2013 bronzer award winner. So, yeah. Next thing, we are just booming through this, aren't we? It is going to be blush. And blush, I really couldn't decide between on just one item for blush because I love blush. But I thought about the blushes that I've been using for the different seasons of the year. So for my summertime blush, it's definitely 100% going to be Copper Tone from MAC. I've used the crap out of this. But it is a gorgeous, like, brown orangey shade. It is so stunning in the summertime with tan skin. It's just my favorite one and I'm running out of it. But Copper Tone, I think it might actually be a limited edition shade which is kind of disappointing but this is my all time favorite summertime blush. And my favorite wintertime blush is a new one that I got just a couple months ago and it's from Milani and it's called Berry Amore. And it is just a stunning mineralized blush with gold flecks in it and a really pretty berry pinky color and I am just so obsessed. It's so pigmented. It goes on so beautifully. Um, I have it on today and it looks absolutely fabulous. Like I just love this blush so much and this is my favorite, favorite all-time winter 
um, and fall blush. It's so pretty, and it's only $7. Like, come on. Like, shut up. Milani, I love you. So, Milani, that's my favorite blush. Moving on to highlighter. So, my favorite highlighter, and this is also, should be no surprise whatsoever, is my MAC Iridescent Loose Powder Highlighter. You can see that a little bit. This is in the shade Silver Dusk. It is just so pretty. It's I love loose highlighters. It's so sparkly. It gives you just this beautiful nighttime finish. I love wearing this out at night. It's just I always get compliments. It totally illuminates the face. Totally just looks gorgeous. I have it on today. I don't know. I'm just obsessed. I can try all different kinds of highlighters, but I'm pretty sure this is always going to be my favorite. Plus, I got this like a year and a half ago, and I'm nowhere near finished with it. I'm going to have this thing for life. So super excited about that. You can say whatever you want about throwing away makeup. I am not throwing away this thing, okay? It is awesome. Not throwing away until it's finished. Okay, next thing is eyeshadow. <laughs> so for eyeshadow, I picked two because I couldn't decide. And I just picked the ones that I use the most that I love using every day, the ones that make me happy to use because eyeshadow is just really, really hard. Um, so the first one I picked is my MAC pigment in the color tan. It's a beautiful rose gold color. If I am in a rush and I can only use one eyeshadow, I don't have time to blend and like do my whole face, I'll just put this on and I just think it's so pretty. I always get compliments on my makeup when I wear it and it's just amazing and I will have it forever. I've had it for like two years already and it's just, it's never going to run out. I just love it. I'm obsessed with MAC pigments. I think that they're the best. And then the next color is just one of my favorite eyeshadows ever of all time and I'm also running out of it. But it was a duo powder shade, and it's called Love Connection, and it is from the MAC Mineralize Eyeshadow Collection. Um, it's one of their staples, and they always run out of it at the store, but I'm obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with it. I don't know if you guys can see. It's another rose gold with a really pretty light pink highlighter shade. Again, I can just use these two colors together and have my makeup done for the day. I'm obsessed. I will repurchase this. This is a holy, holy grail, easy eyeshadow go-to. Okay. Next thing, booming right along, is eyeliner. So for my pencil eyeliner, should be no-brainer for this one. It is my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencils. I got this, got, got them in the Ocho Loco set, and I will never use any other pencil eyeliner again. They are so soft. They are so pigmented. They go on so smooth, and they last forever. I have them on today. This is the color Tornado. It's my favorite one. It's a pretty eggplant purple color. Blah, blah. You can see that. It's really pretty. I love this. I love these eyeliners. I will forever use them. So, awesome. Love these. Um, then, as far as liquid eyeliner goes, again, this should be no surprise. It is my $1 e.l.f. liquid eyeliner in black. I use this all the time. It's the, it goes on the easiest. It lasts the longest. It's the easiest to remove if you make a mistake. Um, but it doesn't come off if you don't need it to. Like, if you need it to come off, it comes off. But if you want it to stay, it'll stay. I don't know if that makes any sense. Again, it's a dollar, so it's like, shut up, just try it. Like, if you haven't already tried this stuff, you're missing out, my friend. Um, try a bunch of expensive eyeliners, and this is just the best, in my opinion. So, holy grail eyeliner, love it. Okay, that's all. Next thing, oh, is my gel eyeliner, um, which, in the gel eyeliner category, I think MAC just kind of always takes the cake. I know that everybody likes Maybelline, but I love MAC gel eyeliners. So, my favorite one is... This color, it's called Deliciously Rich. It's from the Divine Nights collection from MAC. It is just the best gel eyeliner on the planet. It goes on so smooth. It's such a gorgeous color. It is definitely my favorite eyeliner, um, gel eyeliner, probably any eyeliner of the year. I just love this stuff. I've used so much of it already, and I really got it like three months ago, but love it. This gel, as far as gel eyeliner goes, I still think that MAC is king, and I will stand by that. Next thing in my Holy Grail 2013 Beauty Awards is lipstick, and it should come as no surprise, I had to do three categories for lipstick. I decided to do nude, pink, and dark. Does that work for you? Because it works for me. So for dark, no surprise here, it is my Milani lipstick in the color Sangria. It is the best dark color ever. I'm obsessed with it. Ignore that swatch. Um, it is just absolutely stunning. I don't know. I've worn it in a million of my videos, and you guys are always like, "You lipstick, I love it." It's this. This is. It's, it's every time. It's this every single time. So love it. Um, and then for the pink category, this is one I probably haven't talked about a lot, but I do love it. I wear it a lot more in the spring and summer. But it's called Saint Germain from Mac, and it is just a beautiful Barbie doll pink. 
and when I wear it, I love it. I don't know. I love it. It changes the whole look up. Like, you can change your entire look with this pink lipstick. It's amazing what it can do. I think that St. Germain is the prettiest Barbie bubblegum pink that MAC has. It's my favorite ever. And this is um, from the Amplified Collection. So I love all their Amplified lipsticks. I think that MAC has awesome Amplified lipsticks. And then my favorite nude, which is also from MAC. It should be no surprise to any of y'all. But it is Flare for Finery. And it is so awesome. It is just the best true nude. It blends right into my skin. I absolutely love this. It's a nice cool tone nude. I discovered it earlier this year. 100% obsessed. This is Beauty Award winner for nude lipstick. Love it. If you haven't already tried it out, try it out because it's a limited edition color. So get out there and get it, y'all. And then uh, lip gloss. Again, no surprise here. It's definitely going to be Blossom from the Forever 21 for Love and Beauty Lip Gloss, Sparkling Lip Gloss Collection. Obsessed with it. I've been using it every single day since I first bought it. And I probably won't ever buy more expensive lip glosses again. Well, that's a lie. I probably will. But this will still always be my favorite because it smells amazing. It stays on all day and makes your lips look so pretty and gorgeous. I just love this. And the Blossom smell, oh, it's so good. So good. It's $1.80. Shut up. It's amazing. Um, okay. Then we have Lip Balm, um, which I haven't talked about this a lot this year either, but it's the Nivea Lip Butter in Raspberry Rose Kiss. This is just, it smells so good. It tastes so good. And I wear it every night before I go to bed. It's a really pretty pink color. It doesn't have pigment. It just keeps my lips so soft and supple. When I wear it before I go to sleep, I wake up with just baby lips. Like, amazing. I absolutely love this stuff. I will totally 100% repurchase it, and it's the best flavor. Raspberry Rose Kiss is way better than that caramel flavor that everybody else likes. I love this one. If you haven't tried it already, go to CVS and get it. It's like $4, $3. Okay, next thing. Um, I'm going to get right into makeup tools, um, which is pretty simple. The first makeup tool, which isn't really a tool, it's a setting spray. It's the Urban Decay um, D-Slick Setting Spray. You can't see that at all. Nope. No. I don't know. It sets my makeup perfectly. I'm so glad that I got this. I like it better than the MAC, MAC Fix Spray. I think that it works a lot better and it isn't as wet as the MAC one is. I use it every single day and it keeps my makeup on all day. So it also keeps me from looking shiny, which I can't complain about that. So yeah, winner winner, chicken dinner. Um, next thing, oh, beauty blender. No surprise there. See, look, mine is broken. No, a dog didn't chew it up. My my, my tweezers got stuck in it and ripped off the top in my makeup bag. But I still use it. I'm obsessed with it. It's dirty. I need a new one. I 100% need a new one. But this beauty blender is literally God. And it blends out my concealer and my foundation like, like nothing else. I can tell you that right now. This is going to change your life. If you don't already have the beauty blender, suck it up and pay the $20 for it because it will make your face look flawless. So, this is a winner, and yeah, I'm going to get another one. Yeah, totally grail. Heck yeah. Okay. The last thing on the Apartment 402 2013 Beauty Awards for makeup <laughs> are my Real Technique brushes. So, this should be no surprise. I, you know I got these in a clout perk a couple months ago, and these are just the best most inexpensive brushes that there are. I'm obsessed with them. These are the face brushes. I also have the eye brushes. I use these every single day. They're dirty right now. They need to be cleaned. But I'm obsessed. There's just no better brushes for the price. There just isn't. And I really have an issue with paying $50 for a brush. I know that people say that they're good. I know that's whatever it is. But these prove that that is wrong. Like that you can get really good brushes for a really good deal. Like you can get, I think these came in a set. For like $10, $13, something around there. Like that is a ridiculously good deal and they work just as good as my MAC brushes. So I don't know. I use these every single day and I'm absolutely obsessed with all of them. So take what you want out of that, but Real Techniques is the bomb.com. They are the brush winners for 2013 and there's just no if, ands, or buts about it. So, oh wait, I'm not done. The last thing is my 2013 palette award winner and it has to go to the Sephora Ariel palette. This is the first one I ever covered on my channel so I think it has like a near and dear place in my heart but 
It's just the prettiest, most gorgeous summer color palette on the planet. I am obsessed with it. I There are so many great highlight shades in here. There are so many pretty jewel tones. Whenever I wear these shadows, I always get a compliment. And I love my naked palettes. I really do. I love Urban Decay shadows, but it's just unbeatable. I think it's maybe because it's my first really big palette that I got. And this palette kind of really got me excited about beauty. I don't know. I just love this. There's something about this palette that just... I'm drawn to and I think it's really stunning and I think it's one of the best purchases I've made beauty wise because I think it's just beautiful. So I'll link the review of it down below because it kind of takes me down nostalgia lane for when I first started the channel. Um, but yeah, this is just the best palette ever. I use it all the time still, um, but I especially use it in the summer and springtime because I think the colors are just so seasonally appropriate, don't you? Okay. I'm going to be quiet now. But those are my Makeup Beauty Award winners. I will have another um, Beauty Award winning video, award winner video for hair and skin products. Um, so that will be up soon, probably the day after this, following this. Um, but yeah, so if you ever want to know what my Holy Grail products are, this is a pretty good example of it. They're not all Holy Grail. They're just kind of my favorites from this past year. But um, yeah. Tell me what your favorite beauty products are of this season because I'm dying to know. I want to know. Let me know, you guys. Could I have said that any more times? Let me know. Okay, I'm shutting up. Bye.